Hey, this is Brian from Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metal in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. Lovely day out there. Uh, you can tell on the live cam here. And we've been using this live cam for a while to start my little daily update videos on precious metals. Thanks to the Windjammer Resort and Beach Club in sunny Lauderdale by the Sea. If you ever come downtown here and you stay, they have a lovely little place there. Uh, and that's their camera, which you can view anytime on your own. Uh, this is only a few blocks from our store, too. If, if you were to walk along this pier and keep walking this way, you'd be in the ocean. <laughs> but if you were to walk this way and you'd keep going, you walk down the street, maybe two or three blocks on the right-hand side, you would see our store, Commercial Wear Coins. And if you did it between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., Mondays through Fridays, you would likely meet me. Not that that's a big deal. So, anyways, let's move along to uh, Precious Metals reports today and see what happened and what did I say yesterday? I think I said it was going to be maybe up a little bit, par value up a little bit. <clears throat> and that's exactly what we've got. We've got up a little bit. Not much, but I like these little small incremental climbs like this. But look at the range today. It was kind of funky. I woke up this morning. I said, holy smoke, she's sailing this morning. Uh, look at the New York spot price here. Uh, 1991 on the high, 1966.79. Uh, wow, that's kind of quite some spread there between the high and low. Um, I'm not quite sure. Oh, uh, that's about actually 60 cents above what the low was. So it kind of wrote, you know, in the morning it was really quite a bit up, as was silver if you take a look here. Uh, look at $28.85, $29 range just about. Uh, so, it, boy, it really sailed this morning. It kind of got taken down in the afternoon, but that's okay. I like these little incremental climbs and these little pullbacks. Uh, and we're still up overall, and if we can just keep doing that over the course of a year, man, you guys will be rocking with your gold and silver. Uh, platinum, same thing. I like platinum, actually. Platinum had a nice little day, uh, up uh, 14 80 15 bucks at 19 50 right now. So uh, uh, that's what the New York market's closed at. Let's take a look at the uh, world spot prices, which closed a little bit ago, not too long ago, and we'll look at aftermarkets as well. Uh, 1970, so kind of the same thing, 28 14 uh, versus 2848 uh, but again you know <clears throat> silver you've got to give yourself a little if you're going to guess the price of silver man you got to give yourself 50 cents or 75 cents because it, it just kind of goes all over the place it's a hard one to figure uh, gold a little bit easier uh, for me at least uh, silver wild and crazy but that's what I love about it wild and crazy makes you money sometimes and in a bull market it's gonna make you money so keep stacking them silver bars guys uh, platinum 944.81, uh, not too far from uh, Palate, uh, uh, from what New York closed at. I like platinum. I still think it's way underpriced. I think it's half the price it should be. That doesn't mean that it will be or could be. It just means what I think it should be. It's half the price of that. Same thing with silver. Almost half the price what I think it should be. I think it should be at its all-time high like gold is already. Uh, again, I don't want to keep beating a dead horse. You watch my videos, you'll see that we've been talking about this a long time. Ratios, where I think the price of gold and silver and platinum should be. Uh, but anyway, I think there's still a lot of upside for silver, even though I think our ratio is back to that average ratio we've had for years. Uh, let's see what happens here. <clears throat> let's look at aftermarkets real quick and just see where we are. Aftermarkets are up a little bit, uh, 2817. You know, so based on these kind of uh, uh, three, you know, New York uh, world spot prices closing and uh, the current aftermarket. <sighs> wow, that's a tough one to call again. I've been calling them pretty much right, so the pressure is on me. But you know, in a bull market, everyone's a genius, and that's kind of what we're in. We're in a bull market. Uh, so it's easy to be a genius in a bull market. I don't care if you're buying houses or, or whatever you're doing. Uh, everyone's a genius and everyone makes money in a bull market. So we're in a bull market with gold and silver. So I'm going to guess that we're going to again be par value or up a little bit. Uh, I just don't see any news that makes the economy better or makes the dollar stronger. And even though I think we'll see these little fluctuations and these uh, times when the dollar will, will perform a little better and knock the price of gold down, uh, in some other events, or maybe people come in and sell a large amount of paper gold or silver to knock the price of silver and gold down. It won't last long. We're in a sustained bull market. We're going to see over $30 silver here, probably not too long in the future. And it's not too long where we'll see over two grand again on gold, pretty obvious. Uh, platinum, geez, I, I sure think it should play catch up, but again, uh, I'm not going to sit here and just keep guessing day after day. Watch my videos. I'll tell you what I think it's going to do. I think Platinum will kind of just chug along where it's at right now. 
uh, it did not play catch up or anything. The ratio between it and gold uh, is still kind of crazy and wild, uh, whereas silver kind of caught up with its 30-year uh, ratio over the last 30-year average ratio of 71 to 80 to 1. Anyway, I think markets will be about par value tomorrow, maybe a little bit up, unless we see some abnormal dollar strength. Uh, who knows? That could happen. Uh, I saw this little article, What Will Stop a Bull Market? And uh, here, I'm going to phase up here if you want to read it. You know, love or hate uh, uh, Zero Hedge. They have great articles. They have suck articles. And I really, their advertising on here it just sucks, to be honest with you, just all over the place. It'll load up your page real quick. Uh, however, they provide a lot of opinions that you don't see anywhere else in most mainstream. And their opinions are not just their own. They're usually posts from blogs. Uh, you'll see uh, articles in here from Market Watch. You even see articles on uh, in Zero Hedge by uh, uh, Wall Street Journal and other uh, mainstream publications. I like it because it's kind of like uh, uh, all different opinions from different uh, news sites and different sources and, and that kind of thing. Anyway, I thought this article was interesting. We, what will stop the gold bull market? You can type that in. It'll pop up on Zero Hedge if you do a Google search. Or as I like to do, duck, duck, go because your privacy is important. Um, <clears throat> let's take a look here. Uh, and again, I, I will not disagree with what it says here as far as what could hurt the price of gold. And this is absolutely true, but I don't see it happen. Higher nominal rates. It is easier to find an alluring candidate in the U.S. presidential rate than an OECD banker, even thinking of raising interest rates in his or her high lifetime. Higher nominal interest rates are simply not a threat to the unfolding bull market. And I agree. Uh, you are not going to see higher interest rates paid to any of us. In fact, uh, they're talking about negative interest rates here. So uh, uh, I, I agree with the author of this article, uh, and I have for a while. I, we don't see this happening. He doesn't see it happening. I haven't seen that happening for a while. Stronger U.S. dollar. <clears throat> well, what did we just talk about? What did we talk about in most of our videos? Uh, the U.S. dollar and how a strong U.S. dollar can temporarily one day or just a couple days or during a week kind of knock the price of gold and silver down. But then again, it's kind of a seesaw thing, and I think overall gold is going to win over the dollar because you can't just keep printing these things and expect people to invest them and believe in them. Uh, let's move along to the next one, surging gold supply. Well, <clears throat> that's a tough one, but you know what? I, I just don't see a, a surge. Gold a little bit, but silver not so much. I think there's a lot more gold out there that's still above ground than silver. In my belief, there's a lot of silver that's been buried in landfills with your cell phones and all kinds of electronic equipments in the form of lead, uh, or not lead solder, but silver solder. Uh, but that's a whole different video. Uh, and P.S. Marcelo remind me to do a video on that. That's a, uh, a great topic to do in the future. Uh, so I will do that. Uh, and let's move on to the next one so I don't make this video so long. A rise in real rates. Uh, the above leaves a rise in real rates is the most credible threat to unfolding gold market. Uh, and again, this means that uh, 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 treasuries and all these things will pay you more money. And uh, I just don't see that happening either. If, you know, anyway, uh, you make up your own mind. Uh, if you got any comments or you got any thoughts, listen. Feel free to make comments in the comment section below. Uh, or if you know something that I'm not sure of, or uh, you, you want to teach me something, man, I'm all about learning. Uh, and so are the people that watch these videos. As far as gold and silver, I know my stuff, but as far as uh, uh, bonds, stock market, and all that, I, I'm not a genius, and I will never admit to it. Uh, and momentum. Uh, momentum. Gold bull markets may be able to over multi-period year, uh, year periods as a metal sparks to the public's imagination. Uh, anyway, that's actually too long for me to read, and that's actually that's above what we were just talking about. Whoop, went a little too high there. Uh, a rise in real rates. Well, anyway, that's it for that article. Let me move on to the Wall Street Journal, which I've always been for all the daily updates I've done. I always look at the front page of the Wall Street Journal. Why? Because as a friend of mine told me a long time ago, read the Wall Street Journal, read these publications, uh, uh, financial publications, and then read between the lines. And what that really, <clears throat> well, read between the lines, you take that for what it is. Uh, I, I, I do it myself. And uh, if you want to look over the Wall Street Journal, you will notice some articles might indicate that the price of gold might uh, be up this week. For example, if you see in the Wall Street Journal something that talks about dollar weakness and that the U.S. dollar is going to become weaker somehow or something is going to cause a weaker U.S. dollar 
uh, stock market, news, whatever it may be, wars or whatever it may be, printing more money, then that is a good sign for precious metals. So that's the reason you want to look at mainstream news to kind of see it. It may be a tell for, uh, uh, and actually it is. Times suck, man. The uh, uh, economy sucks out there, really. They put a millions and millions of people out of work. Uh, lots of businesses are out of work. They're they're paying people to not work. And how long can they just keep paying people? They got to print. The printing presses are just full on, man. That's going to cheapen our money. This is a circle effect uh, that can't help anybody and can't help the economy, which again is good for precious metals. So if you're a gold stacker, a silver stacker, all of the above, and a platinum stacker, and palladium. Huh, you notice I didn't even talk about it because nobody asked me about it. But anyways, uh, we're in good times as far as uh, uh, securing your money and your wealth. <clears throat> uh, but again, I, I don't want to sound like a broken record. Uh, hey, listen, one of the things that I, I'm going to do a video about, and uh, I said last night we we're going to do a video about safes and stuff, and we'll get that out this weekend. So uh, keep an eye open on our uh, page. Just subscribe to our uh, uh, YouTube videos. It, it, I really would appreciate it too. It gives me an idea how many people are watching out there. So uh, become a subscriber and uh, I'll start putting some more educational videos out there as well. Uh, but meanwhile, last night I was talking about the video I was going to do on safes or safe places to put your gold and silver that, you know, to prevent people from stealing it. And, uh, and that way you don't have to keep it in a bank in case there's a bank holiday, which is why would you want to keep your gold and silver in a bank? The whole purpose of owning gold and silver is to have it in your hands. Uh, and if you want to have it in your hands, you want to have it close by. So having a great hiding place or a great safe is the way to do it. Uh, we'll have a video up this weekend about that. And the other thing I wanted to talk about, and I'm not going to do a video on that, but uh, uh, is uh, gold and silver prices. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of online gold and silver sellers, here's what I want you to do. Open up two, web, well, open up your two different web browsers on your computer screen. Go to the different online sellers. If you buy online, go to the different online sellers and look at their spot prices. You'll see their spot prices are always usually different by a little bit, and it's not what the uh, live spot prices say. Uh, so one of the things that I wanted to give you a clue on, and maybe I will do a video, and in fact, I will do a video on it, um, maybe this weekend or next weekend uh, or sometime soon, but... Uh, uh, I'm going to do a video on what the most reliable spot prices you can get for free. If you see, when I'm talking spot prices, this is like, I forget how much I pay for this. This is $300 a month or something for this uh, this service right here, uh, CCE. And they actually do have really good spot prices here that are fairly accurate. It's not like an online company, uh, for example. And I don't want to talk about anybody particular because, oh, shoot, uh, everybody does their own thing. But... 1980, I'm going to refresh this screen and let's see if it just pops me back up right here. 1977, that's one online seller. Let's take a look and see how different another online seller might be as far as their spot prices go. Uh, I'm going to refresh that. 1978, look, there's a dollar difference here. And then silver, what's the difference in silver? Uh, 28 and a couple cent difference in silver. But I've seen these spreads even higher, up to 10 to 15 cents between these different sites. And you're going to ask me, why? Well, why, Brian, when I go to one online seller and I go to another online seller, they have different spot prices. They can be as much as the difference between $10 in gold or, or uh, 50 cents in silver or 25 cents in silver. And again, uh, like I said, open a couple browsers and open a couple of your favorite online sellers and you'll see that they have spreads. Well, I'm going to explain that to you in a future video, so keep watching my videos. And not only am I going to explain that to you, I'm going to show you a place you can go to for free and get a spot prices that aren't kind of, what am I saying, influenced by people that are trying to sell precious metals. So I will not go any further than that. There's my favorite bard. And actually, that's it. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in... Where is my little bar? Beautiful Lauderdale by the sea. High wind jammer. If you go down there, make sure we told you to go over there. It's a great hotel. Uh, even if you live in town, boy, what a great place to spend a couple days. And I'm sure the rates are great right now based on what's going on out there. So definitely give them a call. Uh, or at least watch their uh, live cam. It's really a great cam if you live nearby. And that's really about it. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals. 954-493-8811. Call us for live prices anytime. 
and all the great products that we can recommend you buy to uh, help you, whether you're spending $20 or whether you're spending $2 million. We can help you, and we do. Uh, uh, we're not, <laughs> you know, we, we deal with all kinds of uh, uh, different uh, uh, pocketbooks and uh, 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 the amount, you know, things that people want to buy. So I'm not sure if that came out correct, but anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my videos, and uh, again, got any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Have a good evening. Talk to you tomorrow. Let's see what happens. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Look at all those birds, man. There must be fish out there. Son of a bitch. I gotta go fishing. All right.